a lot of people don't realize that the taxes we pay here are the same they're paying in Lawrence and Hopewell, higher than parts of Hamilton and Ewing, literally, just to live in Trenton. After spending years as a renter, Chris Warner Robinson is planting roots in the capital city. The Trenton public school teacher is moving into his newly purchased home in the historic Mill Hill neighborhood. But with property tax bills averaging seven to twelve thousand dollars, that burden isn't exactly a draw for new residents. We're willing to bear that, but at the same time, some of the services are just not being provided, and I don't think that's of any blame on the city government or anything. I think that they're not in the position to be successful because of decisions made beyond them. We believe that the capital city in and of itself should have an investment from all of uh, New Jersey taxpayers. Trenton Mayor and former State Assemblyman Reed Gassiora is backing a bill to reinstate the Capital City Aid Program. It kicks in money from the state budget to offset all the tax-exempt state-owned land in the city. It was cut during the Christie administration, instead placing Trenton into the Transitional Aid Program with a fraction of the funding. Over 50 percent of our uh, property is uh, tax-exempt property and one-third of our uh, tax exempt properties of uh, the state government itself. We also have uh, county buildings, we have federal buildings and, and nonprofits and hospitals. And uh, so the, the city, as the capital city, always go, looks to the state uh, to uh, compensate us for that. The legislation proposes $10 million annually in compensation. Bill sponsor Senator Shirley Turner says Trenton needs the money to stay afloat. In addition to the cost of maintaining and repairing roads and building infrastructure, the city provides vital emergency and law enforcement services to the 20,000 plus state employees who travel in and out of the city each day. Even if the state approves the $10 million in aid, it still wouldn't offset the amount of property tax revenue the city could collect if all of those state properties were no longer exempt. Still though, the mayor says it's a good start. If the state paid dollar for dollar, in property taxes, they would pay us about $45 million a year. Warner Robinson feels the need for the funding every day at his public school job. Everyone's strapped. Like, we literally are down to the bare bone in the city, in the schools. And uh, I see how that affects the children. It's not fair that they're being denied services because the city doesn't have the money. Whether it's that particular bill, uh, which I, I, my gut tells me would be a significant step uh, toward that, uh, in the right direction, but whatever it might be, we've got to be a part of, of Trenton's future. The bill already passed out of the Senate Budget Appropriations Committee and looks to have the governor's support. In Trenton, Brianna Venosi, NJTV News.